How's it going everyone? Dominates Gaming back with another video. And today we're going to be doing interesting sort of testing here on Realm of Legends. I was talking to KT1, shout out to him, uh, on his streams the last couple of days. And we were talking about how many pre-fights could you put on one singular fight for a max number of pre-fights. And so I was doing some digging. He and I kind of threw out a couple of champions. And uh, I came to the conclusion that the most number of pre-fights you can put on a singular fight is 15. Uh, being with uh, four uh, Mr. Fantastics, or potentially if you had a two-star Mr. Fantastic, just a full five team of uh, Mr. Fantastic, um, or bringing in Odin as well, because most of the pre-fights with like War Machine or uh, champions like Human Torch only affect certain characters. So these champions are able to put pre-fights on uh, the opponent for anyone to go in and utilize their effects. So as you can see, with Odin's last pre-fight, we have 15 pre-fights on Winter Soldier here. Uh, multiples of all of Mr. Fantastic's petrification rays and suppression fields and all that stuff. And then obviously with Odin's pre-fights uh, making whoever goes in a worthy Norseman, uh, as it's being called. So as you can see, we're going in with our Mr. Fantastic here. And this is where I thought I was going to be able to do some crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, unfortunately... No matter how many Mr. Fantastics you use the pre-fight with, those um, pre-fight debuffs do not stack on each other. So as you can see, it's as if we only put one round of debuffs on Winter Soldier. So we're not getting any crazy power control or any crazy petrify or anything like that. Um, it's just as if we put three on him as opposed to, what do we have, 12 uh, Mr. Fantastic pre-fights. So it didn't work out how I was intending it to. But it is good to know that you know you can do this if you just want to have some fun with it. So now we're just going to quit out of this fight. We're going to come back with a actual viable team with pre-fights for the actual max number of applicable pre-fights that you can put on any one given champion. All right, and we are back with the actual max number of pre-fights for a singular champion that are actually going to double up or rather stack on each other with their effects. We're going to be going in with our Mr. Fantastic using all of his three pre-fights, a uh, new buffed up War Machine using two of his, all of Odin's three pre-fights, White Magneto's uh, Guidance Boost, and then using Guillotine 2099 as our champion we're going to be going in with with two of her pre-fights. And the only way this works uh, to get 11 pre-fights, which is the max number um, to actually go in with is if you use a tech character because War Machine's pre-fights only work on tech champions. So going in here, getting all of the, uh, we're not going to use the stability function. We're going to go for the assault just so we can build up some damage once we get to 100 combo. And as you can see, now with uh, Magneto's Guidance Boost, we have a max number of 11 pre-fights. And we'll be going in with, look at all them there, man. So cool looking, so cool. Uh, we're going to be going in with Guillotine 2099 just to see how much this actually affects her damage, um, her utility, and anything else um, during this Winter Soldier fight. So going in here, going to go for some combos. we got to make sure that we are dropping heavies to keep the Mr. Fantastic debuffs up. Um, unfortunately, the Odin pre-fight buffs aren't going to affect us a whole lot in this fight just because... You know, Winter Soldier is going to be placing shocks on us, and we're going to be doing our best to not let him hit us. But even if he did, he wasn't going to be doing anything crazy to us as it is, um, since Guillotine already has some pretty nice armor rating, as well as block proficiency, and then obviously her Digi Cloak, which will make Winter Soldier miss anytime he hits into us. So, so far, the damage is pretty much in line with uh, how she works normally. Obviously, we do have the 15% attack rating boost from White Magneto, and a little bit more attack from the War Machine uh, skirmish upgrades pre-fight as well. So, I as I was doing this, I wasn't really noticing anything crazy. You know, nice little 17k crit on the L1, but that was from the guaranteed crit as we hit 40 uh, on the combo meter. But um, it was just kind of fun to test this out and see. I don't know if this is going to have any practicality in any form of content, but it's just kind of nice to know that uh, you know this is an option for anyone that just wants to mess around with it. 
Um, if anyone knows about any other pre-fights or another combination, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, I'm definitely interested to see if there's other data out there that might be useful for anyone. But um, yeah, this is pretty much how this fight is going to go. I won't show the whole thing just because this is your typical uh, Winter Soldier fight. But like I said, some fun testing around with it. Good to know that the max is 15, but for actual practicality, it's going to be 11. Um, I would guess maybe if you built up a War Machine uh, against this Winter Soldier fight, then he could put his third pre-fight on, but I just wanted to go in and see from the get-go, right from the start of the quest, how many pre-fights can you put on um, a singular fight. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a little bit of information um, that might be interesting to some people, but hopefully you can tune in tomorrow for our 7.2 Legends run. Hope to see everyone there. That's going to do it for this one, you guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.